Hey there, pumpkin family. It's Jeff from Colorado Giants. Today is May 5th. We're planting pumpkin plants at long last, so stay tuned. So in case you didn't uh, get the hint in all of the other videos that we've made to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. My name's Chad. My family and I grow giant pumpkins and, ve and vegetables and whatnot and other cool things. We have some cool animals and we do some cool stuff around here. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share with a friend. If not, don't. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Today we are planting giant pumpkin plants. If you watched the last video, um, I put up the greenhouses inside the greenhouses, which will keep the baby pumpkin plants nice and happy through the duration of uh, May, when here in Parker, Colorado, it still gets quite cold. Colorado is known for bipolar weather. We're up in the mountains. It can be hot and cold and rainy and snowy and foggy and sunny and everything else all in one day. So even though the greenhouse is really good for the cold and warming things up during the day, at night when there is no sun, this sucker gets just as cold as outside. Maybe a few degrees warmer, but uh, not too much more. So what we're gonna talk about today and making it a quick one is how to plant your pumpkin plants. I've made videos like this in the past in great detail. Uh, if you wanna watch those, look at grow, um, grows of years past in the channel list. You can see uh, my playlists. So let's talk about uh, pumpkin plants and how to plant them in the ground. Planting pumpkin plants is a piece of cake. You need a few things to, uh, you know, give yourself the best chance possible to grow big giants and this is how i do it everybody does it differently and just because this is how i do it doesn't mean it's the best doesn't mean it's the only way but it's how i do it so what i do is i'll rake up a little bit of uh, dirt i'll smooth everything out inside of my miniature structure and make a minna a little like a little hill not a mound so much then i put down a little bit of feather meal and a little bit of fish meal this gives the plant some slow release nitrogen um, from that i'm going to add a bag of worm castings and then we're going to mix that all up so let's go ahead and do that that's that there you go you can see i have two pretty well defined hills the stick is like the center of the growing plot so i plant them maybe you know Two foot apart from one another that'll give them a little room to to grow um i just mixed all that together then from here what we're going to do is cut off the bottom of the pot and plant the plant and let's see if i can do that uh, on camera so i'll try to do this all on camera no guarantees as to if it'll turn out well or not so we have our Ron Wallace Mycorrhiza and our Extreme Gardening uh, Azos. These are beneficial bacteria that help the plant suck up the good stuff. Here's our 2350 Ginger. And remember the pots that we made in the videos of past, what I'm gonna do is kind of cradle this like, a, <clears throat> like my little girl and cut off the tape on the bottom. This has been working really well with the other ones that I planted. Pretty happy with my new transplanting pots. They're definitely gonna stick with this uh, method moving forward. I could probably use a little less tape though. So now the bottom is off and we have the roots underneath there. Nice, beautiful looking roots. Oops, and I already forgot a step. So now we can take that though, the, the Azos and a mycorrhiza and pat that directly onto the roots to get uh, the best contact. <clears throat> and it's, it's effortless. Uh, I forgot to dig the hole, duh. So we need to dig the hole big enough for the pot. We don't need to oversize it too bad. 
And then the two things that you need to know, uh, even if you don't do anything else, when you are planting a pumpkin plant, is that you want it to go in a specific direction. So you want to lean the plant that direction. So the hill that I'm making right now, or the hole rather, is not up and down, you know, like this. It is more like the stick and it's pointing forward. So the plant will lay down in there. And then the plant itself will go the opposite of the first true leaf. So if we planted the plant like this, this is the first true leaf. This is the second leaf. Actually, I have it backwards. This is the first leaf and this is the second leaf. This plant will want to grow in this direction. If we wanted it to grow this way, we would rotate it like that or whatnot and whatnot. So the plant always wants to grow opposite of the first true leaf. So now that we have our hole, I'm gonna split one side of the pot, like the lateral tape, because then we can peel the whole thing open like a, like a clamshell. And I did water these so you can see we got lots of great root development here. Lots of roots, but not too much. Don't skimp on your beneficials. Also, I'm gonna throw some in the hole before I forget. And then we can close that up, rotate it over, make sure that you know your plant doesn't break or anything like that, and then we can do the other side. So I'm pretty happy with how these are working. Uh, like I said, I'll do this moving forward. So now we'll close it back up. I'll cut off the tape on the other side. That's cut. Now I'm looking for my first true leaf. And again, we're gonna go opposite of that first leaf, which makes it this way. And gently put the plant in. At this point in time, I'm gonna add a few of the Ron Wallace starter packs. This is a small time release fertilizer package. It's just a little uh, a little biodegradable pouch. And we're gonna backfill with <clears throat> the pot still on. And you can see the plant is laying down. Then, just kind of wiggle it a little bit. Take that off. Take the bottom one off. And there you go, I lifted up that whole mound a little bit. The angle was a little too, a little too extreme for my liking, so just lifted that up a smidge. I'm packing it down tight, but no, I'm really not giving it, giving it the all. And there you go, that's how you put your giant pumpkin plants in the ground. And then I will, uh, water it. I'll put down some of this uh, bug barrier so it's just a line. Oh, lid's on. It's just a line of uh, powder that if any bug crawls over that, it'll kill it while the plant's still small and uh, vulnerable. So that's all I have for you. I'm gonna do the last one and then get out of here. It's kind of hot. Gotta go to work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.